Daniels from The Exorcism. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Season two. It's, it's very exciting. And the following that The Exorcist has since the original, which I had a chance to interview Linda Blair. Did you? I did. And, and she is phenomenal. How do you feel being a part of this adaptation? Uh, I just uh, over the moon and just completely overjoyed and excited. I, it's been part of my life, um, this story, since I, I first sort of heard about it when I was nine or ten, maybe, and uh, when, when the movie came out, and you know there were tales of people sort of f fainting in cinemas or jumping off buildings or whatever they were doing, and so it sort of intrigued me. But it wasn't until I was fifteen that wow. that I got to see it. So. Wow. Um, and, and, and then it's become my favorite horror movie of all time, and nothing will ever beat it. And I've, I've watched it, I'm a complete exorcist <laughs> geek. So when, you know, the, the chance came to sort of be part of it, then I just leapt at it, really. So the season one, we saw your character unfold and become this kind of badass that, you know, no one can kind of stop you. How does your character either develop or does it continue the same way in season two? Um, I think he, you know, he's still a bit of a badass, <laughs> as you'll see in the first episode. <laughs> he gets into a bit of a scrape in the first episode with more than one person. <laughs> so, um, I, but he, he develops, it, it's, a, it's a much more sort of open, uh, uh, human kind of Marcus we see this, uh, this season, rather than the... Or so far, anyway. I, we're only uh, one episode in. No, can't I can't say anything. anything. <laughs> but I can say sort of like little bits and bobs. <laughs> so being so close to Halloween, I know uh, we're it's still summer, but you just missed Scarlet. It's a huge. Oh, it has wow. a huge following, um, and I know you had Comic Con recently. Yeah. You know, what do you want to tell your fans that are devoted to watching this? That um, this uh, season. Well, last season we had to really sort of pay homage to the, the book and the yeah, movie. Yeah, of course. Um, and I, I think it would have been bad not to. But this season, now we've kind of like set that groundwork and built up our own mythology um, with the, the whole kind of story involving the Vatican. This year we can really, really let rip. And also, it's um, what's amazing about it is it takes place in the countryside. So it's very oh. rural and... The, the, in Chicago, it was very urban and sort of city-based. This is sort of out in the open countryside and all the horror that uh, can come of from course. that. Of course, just thinking about it. I wonder if they're going to come to the city. They have to. I mean, we have, you know, some crazy people out here, too. <laughs> so the movie, this is a continuation. Um, how different is it from the movie? I, I feel like it's just continuing the storyline, but it's a show now. Is, is it completely different? Um, there, there will always be strands that connect back to that um, uh, original, the, well, the book, really. And um, also what the book set up brilliantly was that it takes place in a very real world. It's very grounded. And if you read that original novel, it has lots of cultural references from the time. So it feels like it's taking place in a world that we all know. Definitely. And um, I think that is something that will continue with, with ours. Now, do you think they're going to get Linda Blair to come? At least for one episode. Well, th th she she was going to make an appearance um, in season one, but um, the st it's towards the end there was a character that she was going to play, or that they were. I, I better be really careful about this. I don't know if they offered it to her, okay. whether she <laughs> whether she <laughs> agreed to play it. But the script changed, and the ah, character uh, was no longer part of it. But in the script, it definitely said in parentheses, Linda Blair. <laughs> oh my god, how exciting! <laughs> so she we're was here there. with. <laughs> if you're watching Linda. Come. We're gonna come. You had original, you knew, the you original. Didn't. You have to. She has to make an appearance. It would at just least. be. I, I, I would. I would be like <laughs> such a geek all day. She be would like, be stalked. <laughs> just walking behind her. Scene, and I've already threatened the writers. I said, if you put her in, and I am not in a scene with her, I'm Your walking. <laughs> It'll be an extra. Just. Hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, and for your character, <laughs> how did you stu study to become the priest that you are, Father? Um, I, uh, it was the same as I do with every character, really. It's all about lots of research and creating a very um, uh, active backstory that you can bring with you to set each day. So I read a lot. I watched awesome. every <laughs> exorcism YouTube video that there is. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I did all that, really. Can you just show us? What do you do? <laughs> there you go. Well, everyone has their own way of doing hey, it. Hey, but you know. that's yours. You yeah, yeah. 
and he prays in his own okay. way. And he does everything in his own <laughs> way. It's nothing that you know anyone else will have done. Well, there you have it. Season two. It's a must watch. Continue watching. Thank you so much, and congratulations. It's a it's huge. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>